What's up everybody? It's Shane with Moretti Outdoors and we got a great gear review coming up right now. Thanks for coming back for this awesome review. All right guys, so for those of you who don't know, uh, I'm a big fan of Gil Hibben and United Cutlery is like a subsidiary company to Gil Hibben. Um, he's got some fantastic cutlery, his knives. He's designed a lot of knives for like um, Braveheart. All the knives and blade are all designed by Gil Hibben. Um, the original Rambo knife was designed by Gil Hibben. I mean, he's just, his artwork with weaponry and swords and knives are just phenomenal. Um, I've owned a couple of his blades. They're just unbelievably amazing. So United Cutlery kind of broke off, and it's still kind of, like I said, a subsidiary of Gil Hibben, so they are tied in together. But what we got here is I wanted to get this knife and review it because, like I said, I love Gil Hibben, and I love United Cutlery. So this is the Bushmaster Bushcraft Explorer. Let's crack this thing open and check it out. came in a nice little box and I've already opened it up and took the wrapping off I really like the sheath a lot let's get this camera zoomed out all right I really like the sheath it's really nice it's got the wraps nice leather it's got the got the um, belt buckle loop there um, the handles very nice Got a nice blade, it's 1095, high carbon steel, full tang, just all in all, a really good knife. So, let's talk a little bit about this knife. Maybe I can zoom in on it a little bit while we're talking about it. So. This is the Bushmaster Bushcraft Explorer. Richly veined zebra wood handle scales, brass pins, and the handle features a brass lanyard hole. Includes genuine leather belt sheath with a snap closure and lacing holes. 1095 high carbon steel blade with a matte finish. Overall length is 9 and 5 eighths. The blade is 4 and 3 eighths. Full tank construction. So like I said, nice little bushcraft knife, guys. I really wanted to check this out. Like I said, I'm a big fan. And I've reviewed plenty of knives on my channel, so why not this one? It's real nice and thick. I really like the spine on this. It's definitely uh, got a flat grind on it. Uh, it says right here what kind of a grind they I don't know if it's a Scandi grind or not. It doesn't really say, but I'm pretty sure it's Scandi. It looks like a Scandi grind to me. So, and my camera's being super stupid today. But not a bad little knife. They put this gray coating on here to, to beat the hell out of this thing, and I'm going to beat the hell out of it. I'm definitely going to be using this for for batoning and, and uh, for some of my bushcraft expeditions. Um, this thing came out of the case super duper sharp. Like I said, got a beautiful handle. I really like the handle a lot. Beautiful. Beautiful little knife, man. I'll put a link in the in the description below. This isn't a knife you can just pull off at Amazon. Um, I actually bought this straight from United Cutlery. Um, I believe they're running about $50. I got a discount on it, but... Um, any other time they're running like 50 bucks so well worth the money it's got a great i love the two position grip you got that for for um you know doing your feather sticks and and uh busting your your fat wood down in uh in uh you know small pieces and then it's got that back position like a lot of knives so i really like it the handle's nice and big it feels really good in the hand. It just really does. Really nice little knife. I really don't have anything more to say about it, guys. Um, like I said, I'll do some digging for, um, you know, some more information on this blade, on how you can purchase it if you're interested in purchasing it. Um, all in all, like I said, though, great, really great uh, bushcraft knife for the price. Really impressed with the sheath. 
nice and clean um, you know unfortunately even though it's it's uh, uh, you know good good brand blade and everything the blade still says made in China that just really sucks but it is what it is man you know I mean money makes the world go round and if you're gonna make 50,000 of these are you gonna make them in the United States and pay an arm and a leg or are you gonna get them made somewhere else we'll see if it holds up to what it's supposed to hold up to which is you know of course the united cutlery gil hibben name so but that's really all i got guys it's a real short sweet bushcraft knife video review and i wanted to share that with you um like i said i've reviewed probably what 10 15 knives on here so why not another i'm sure i'll find some other ones that i'm interested in and do a review on them too so well guys thank you so much God bless. Go wild. We'll see you on the next review or the next video. Thank you.